Hey guys, and welcome to our show Go Queer. Today we have some English news for you. We start with Garrett Paulus. He is a self made millionaire and the rainbow father of two children. And he won the Interman election against his Republican rival. Paulus got 51% um, of the votes and he demands further legalization of weed and engagement for LGBT rights. So Robert, did you know there was a LGBT governor before? Um, she calls Kate Brown and comes from Oregon. And she won the election this year again. Oh, cool. Not to forget Christine Hallquist, the first trans candidate of a big party at the governor's elections. But unfortunately, she didn't got elected, but maybe it's the first way. Next time it could happen. And uh, when I think about uh, Trump's quote, as he said, the midterms elections were a tremendous success. I didn't know, with, with all those LGBTI people elected, I didn't know he's on our side. Yeah, that's a surprise, but a positive surprise. Our next topic is political too. We talk about a woman who calls Kim David. You might know her. She is known as a person who don't really like the LGBT plus community. And yeah, she is a city clerk for, for her um, yeah, base district um, in Kentucky. And yeah, um, a city clerk is, yeah, somebody who writes documents and stuff for their district. And yeah, so she is responsible, she has a responsible to um, certificate marriages and she don't want to certificate a homosexual marriage. So at the election this year, she don't get the pause position again. Dear children, what do we learn about this? If you refuse to write a marriage certificate for LGBTI people, other people if you refuse to write a ballot paper in your favor. Let's talk about another story, about the book. Um, this book has kind of a weird history, but let's start at the beginning. In Russia, it was um, criminal to be gay to 1993. And until 1999, it ca caught as a mental sickness. Um, yeah, and now, uh, at the 6th of November, there is published a child book in Russia. It's very, very good sold, um, and it has a feature from 100 stories of women, but one is missing in Russia. In Russia, there's only 99 stories. So why? There is an 11 years old trans girl who has won um, a case against her school. So now she can go to the girls' restroom. Maybe you know the title of the book. It is called Good Night Stories for Rebel Girls. So you know that there are a hundred of stories in there, but only 99 in Russia yeah, because of that uh, anti-propaganda law. And uh, there is a possibility to sell books with uh, homosexual or uh, bisexual content. You have to do two things. First, you have to mark it as 18 plus for 18 or older uh, people. And you secondly have to wrap it up in a plastic foil to uh, prevent that someone can flip, flick through that book in the bookstore. And that idea seems logical when you think of the politicians who made that discriminating law. Yeah, you also can't flick through a politician before the elections unfortunately. So maybe they have uh, thought, yeah, what, what, um, what is good for elections, maybe it's good for books too. Yeah, too bad for us. And I, when I think about it, maybe you should also be able to uh, wrap some politicians completely into foil, but uh, yeah, hashtag airholes and hashtag don't forget. 
finally, we have one news left for you. And yeah, that's about a student on high school in Santa Ana in California. Um, you, you must see it like a love story. Yeah, it's such a cute story. In the background, you hear the, the warm voice of Katy Perry, who sang A Thousand Years. And then there is the one coolest guy at the school, and of course, the captain of football team. He named Eric Pineda. Pineda. Oh, so. And yeah, some classmate of him has a crush on Eric. This classmate named Alexander Duart, and he's gay. But he don't want to be in closet for his whole life, so he comes out. Um, in, in real, he comes out of a door, uh, and of this door stands out of the closet. So yeah, he comes out. And yeah, then he asks Eric, of a date of, home, of homecoming. He um, draws a banner of this banner stands, I know I'm gay, but can I take you straight to homecoming? And yes, Eric seems like he <laughs> like this whole thing at all, like me and maybe like you too. And so he said yes. What Robert think about this stuff, Robert? <laughs> nice. <laughs> so yeah, have a nice day. I hope we see in the next in the next episode of our show and yeah, goodbye.